Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to what we could be calling the potential Quandle Killer. This is why it's so important that people and customer service is paramount in your business. As a result, somebody out of frustration sent me this website called TradingEconomics.com. They have an API that you can use to get all your economic data. Let's do a walkthrough. Okay, now if you're not familiar where I'm going with my FX strategy coming up in the next couple of weeks, unfortunately I won't be talking a lot about it, but I'll drop some hints. It's going to involve a lot of what you see here, a lot of economic analysis. Now, this is the U.S., <clears throat> the calendar. These are important factors that can easily have an impact both on the Fed and, and ultimately the direction, volatility, movements that my kind of system is going to be looking for, for a potential of volatility and swings in uh, trading with specifically FX. Very important information. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got um, some GDP stuff, and it breaks it right down via uh, category. Really, really important that can not only impact FX, but also impacts where the market's going to go in terms of potential upswings in certain sectors in the markets that you could watch, we do it now by country, based upon watching the um, calendars that this thing pretty well has. But check this out. This is really, really, really freaking cool. Um, so we have virtually a lot of countries here. If you have access to be able to trade a lot of these currencies and cross-reference them, with other trading pairs, this is absolutely mind-blowing stuff. So let's say if I want to know uh, Japan as a great example. Again, we've got all this information, the calendar events that are happening. And the real big ones is the GDP that makes a huge difference on their exchange. Great for forecasting. Um, so let's see what kind of indicators we have. So let's say uh, debt to GDP, a good indicator. Um, and you get all your movements right here, um, measured by uh, market size, of course. So that's all good. I'm glad to see this. And first, I gotta I gotta remind myself to always thank people in my community for sending me stuff like this. This one's an absolute gem, and I'm potentially gonna use it for my FX. This will have no real bearing on uh, my faves, uh, interactive brokers, or IQ feed. IG feed um, is great for uh, really micro level stuff, be it options, futures, stocks, but this is more at a macro level and being able to analyze the economy and econometrics within certain countries on which you want to trade. So again, I'm not going to go into overall all the different um, uh, indicators, but there's dozens of them. And I'll give you another hint about this FX strategy. You're always going to be using drivers that will impact the exchange rate on, let's say, U.S. dollar versus Japanese yen or the British pound or whatever. Great example of that. If you were following the Brexit, you knew where to go for the most volatile price moves. You would have made an absolute killing. And if you knew how to and what to look for, these kind of indicators are really, really, really good. Again, that to DP. GDP, GDP value, blah, 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 blah. If you get a moron that tells you not to use macro level uh, trading economics, well, they're not, they don't really know how to properly trade. This is what the professionals use. Um, and here, look at this. We get currencies, as we said, we get stocks. Um, again, indexes on, on, on the markets, commodities. Uh, I'm not sure if these are, um, yeah, it looks like these are future contracts. Um, and bonds. Again, really, really powerful, important information. Uh, I'll give you a, a, another hint. If you traded uh, and you knew how to hedge, you knew how to set up an automated trade on the Brexit once it was announced, and you did some hedging with the Bund, believe me, I've got people that made an absolute killing on that trade. Awesome stuff. All right, so we've got here forecasting, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what they say about the euro area, for instance. Again, balance of trade, unemployment. These all have a huge, huge freaking impact on the exchange rate. And of course, when you cross-reference them back to other pairs, that is a measurement of, guess what? 
volatility swings. If you don't have volatility in your currency trades, you're not going to make money. Okay, that's simple as that. So let's check out <clears throat> um, a way to export data in the API gateway, of course. It's probably the most important um, information. So here we can get probably access. You can get the same kind of information through IKV. Um, but uh, let me see what we have here. Uh, I'm going to choose inflation rate for, I don't know, China. Um, I want to access. So, no, that's not what we want as an option. Let's try to export the data. Here we go. This is what I want to show. So um, I don't know the breakdown. I have no affiliation with this company. Uh, 500 indicators. Um, you know, you can compare them against five other indicators. Basic service for that price right there. That's a steal. And you're getting access to 500 indicators. Good luck with that with Quandle because you'd be spending $150 for a similar type of database through SGE, which is so-called premium database. Absolutely too expensive. This company seems to have brought it down to earth for us minions and make it really, really powerful. So again, we don't really care about indicators. Um, uh, historical data obviously is fairly important. 20 years, 100 years, a lot of them don't go back as far as 100 years, that I can assure you. So you can start with the 49, um, and uh, they do take my fave, PayPal. And, uh, you know, I'm going to probably try them out and uh, give them a whirl once I start rolling out my, um, my, uh, my uh, trading system. So uh, I, I, this looks pretty, pretty doable and very encouraging to see. Again, thank you very much to the person that sent me this through Skype. He knows who he is. Thank you very much for anybody else sending great contributions and gems like this. This has been the spirit of our community where people send something and I just repost it and those that see it earn from it in spades. This one's another one, another great resource and this is going to be probably an exclusive data provider for my FX strategy. And from what I gather, I'm going to assume that... Uh, the languages are fairly easy to support. So we have access through XML, CSV, JSON. I believe you can do it through, uh, uh, um, you know, Python, and just doing some web connectivity. Okay. So, yeah, so here you go. We can do it through Python, jQuery, C Sharp, Java, R. Of course, no C++ or MATLAB. That's okay. We have um, Python at our disposal. So that, that'll that definitely work. Or I could just call up through, I guess, the um, CSV and generate a CSV from it or something, but it'll be done. And I got to tell you, impressed. And again, thank you very much to the person who sent this to me via Skype, and I want you to use it. And Quandle, Quandle, Quandle. If you see this video, beware, because it's companies like this that will take you out in no time. And remember one thing, always customer service. If somebody asks you a question, you answer. Paid or not paid, because it's companies like this that will take you down. Remember that.